This is Lenovo ThinkBook 16P G4 model laptop and recently the windows corrupted so we need to reinstall it and here is the model number. So today in this video I'm going to show you how to enable the USB boot and correctly boot it up either for Windows 10 or 11 and that should cover up how to set up USB boot in EVFI. Okay, so first of all, you need to create one bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive. If you don't know how to create one, then you can check. The video link would be in the description. So once you connected the bootable USB thumb drive, it's fine. What you need to do, you need to check at the back for this model. There is a little hole in there. So traditionally for laptop to get into BIOS, there are some functional keys from F1 to F10, F12. But for this model, what Lenovo does, they made a hole, I mean the special button which is on the motherboard and there is a little hole in there. So when your system, I mean the laptop is switched off, if you use a SIM ejector tool or paper clip and push it through the hole, it's going to make a little click noise and from there it's going to turn on into noble button menu. So you just need to wait for a few seconds. Even if it takes longer, just wait and check. And if nothing does comes up, means you did not click it or push the button correctly. So try it again. All right. So it's here. As you can see, this is called Nova button menu. We need to go to second option by setup and press enter. Once you press enter, it's going to take you to the BIOS. As you can see, there are a few options on the left hand side, the main menu and then the configuration, security, boot and exe. So from the top one, there is nothing except the details of this machine, which is model number and everything. And then if you go to configuration, there are a lot of configurations in there. So I will try to cover up everything. And then if you go to setup, uh, I mean security, then there is the secure boot and stuff like that. But anyway, I will go through this one so you can see the every single settings how it's supposed to be to enable the UEFI USB boot. So you can use your arrow key, the bottom arrow to go to the bottom and up arrow to go to app. As you can see here, it has to be like that. So I'm going to go through slowly. If you'd like, you can skip it. But most of the time what happens is if you leave the secure boot enable from the security section, and the boot type EVFI that should cover up almost everything. But in case if you're missing out anything, I'm going to go through slowly so you can check everything in there. For example, if you go to now security section, we're going to find secure boot as you can see here. Yep, it has to be enabled. And this one as well. And then from here, boot, as you can see, the setting has to be like that. USB boot has to be enable. Oh, we're going to save it. F10 to save it. Hit enter. Now the system going to restart from the bootable USB thumb drive. So it should take like less than a minute. If it doesn't come up, then try to connect your bootable USB thumb drive into the different USB connector. This time we're going to press F12 to get into temporary boot option, for example. And then from here, we're going to choose the USB one. If you are not able to see your bootable USB thumb drive in here, definitely must be something wrong. Either you did not create it correctly or your USB port got some sort of malfunction. So try to reconnect into the different port, repeat the system, and it should come up. The Windows setup page like that. Okay. All right. So hit next. Install now. With the terms and condition. And now we need to choose. I do have multiple operating system in there. I'm going to choose my correct one. You choose your one. And then we're going to hit next. Accept the terms and condition. If you don't accept it, it's not going to let us go forward. Hit next. And now choose the bottom option to do you have the fresh installation? As you can see, there are existing partition from the internal SSD. 
I'm going to delete all of them because I don't have any important data. But please remember, if you do have any data in there, don't format the partitions. If you do format or if you do delete it, you can lose the entire data in there. So be careful if you have any data, back it up first and then you can follow this procedure. Otherwise, you're going to lose the data. Okay. So as you can see now, there are two prime only. I'm going to choose one of them and delete this one as well. Now, yeah, yeah. So I do have two internal SSD. I'm going to choose one of them to have the windows in it. And now we hit next and it's going to copy all the files and folders to the directory. And then it's going to restart maybe a couple of times. And then finally, that should be ready for Windows 11. Now let's check it out what happened at the end. Right, so finally the system is ready now. So once it's set up, you might have some sort of driver issues, which you need to update it manually. And for this, you should have the internet connection. All right, still, if you do have any question regarding this model or any of this repair, please let me know in the comment section. If you do like, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.